It hurts a lot when you spend quite a lot of time designing one picture and then the end of the day, it comes out like a regular picture, you just added colors on. Some people ask me, I'm strong, I don't know what to do. I've spent, guy, yeah, in the pain, I've spent like 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours on this picture and it doesn't come out like an art. Like somebody said that they use Juju for my own. So I'm not using any Juju. <laughs> this is just a classic tutorial on how to not make your picture look like a regular picture you just added colors or you just retouched i remember i had things like this issues like this then i found out ways to solve it so this might actually be a helper and then you might want to really really check out this video if it's your first time of coming to this channel i think i would really love a comment a like i think i want you to put the comment on youtube so that youtube is going to say oh this is a good content let's push it out to other people and then other people will see it and other people will see it so let's get right to turning this guy to uh to what to a smudge paint all right So this is Leo Da Silva. I got him off Instagram. His face was all over the place. So let's head right to the to it. So I'm going to concentrate. I like duplicating my layers. Now this is why I like duplicating my layers because I like leaving. Now this is for the background. This is the layer one. Now I like leaving my normal picture that way. I like leaving a duplicate every time, like a backup plan. So I'm going to go to image. I go to the adjustment. Now this doesn't look like a lot, but actually a lot. I'm going to use shadows and highlights. Now watch this. This picture has popped up without me doing anything. I just added this. Now, tweaking this, you notice something. First of all, I don't like when the picture is white, when it's too white like this. Now, when it's too white like this, it, it, it looks like a real picture that has light, so much light ish on it. So, one thing you want to do is probably reduce the highlights. Now, when it's like this, when you reduce like this, it doesn't look like much, but this looks like something a little bit artistic. So, that's what I want to start with reducing. The highlight so i'm going to make it some look something like this then for the shadows i want to make it um i think this is okay i don't want to make it too white so i'm going to make this like this then we do the highlight so it doesn't look like i've done a lot but then i'm going to show you i'll come to this layer one and this is the before and this is now it has popped up automatically that's giving the picture a nice feel to it now that is one thing you want to really really check out for now when you are working on this there are a lot of mistakes people make and one of them is the fact that they come they ignore the image size now for the image size now this is the resolution of 96 i learned one time by myself a friend actually told me that it's always good to make the resolution 300 so i'm going to make the resolution 300 and then the height i want to make it um, let's say a height of 3000 by 2000 so I think this is going to be really nice well why it's loading thank you so much for the designs you guys have done for me i feel like a celebrity i come on instagram and i'm seeing my face is turned to a smudge paint i'm like is this how it feels to be a celebrity it feels really awesome thank you so much guys for coming to my dm for telling me how awesome you think these videos are i'll tell you what i'll tell you a story as we're working on this now this is what we'll have see it look, it's actually a very big picture now this is how it was before i'll show you something walk go down here so this the document is 4 mb 4 mb by 4 to 8 mb now when i add a lot more resolution it's going to 23 by 50 mb now that's what this means you can change it to a whatever one you want now I'm just going to cut out the picture from the background and then watch what when i'm cutting out the picture from the background a lot of people make these mistakes and after this tutorial i'm going to do a video on common mistakes you make with your designs so this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut out this beard with a little part of the chair now when you do this it's going to conserve some part of the beard and um probably so the guy doesn't look like he had more beard in the picture and then your painting it comes out like i don't know like that's one of the ways to um get realism when you are working on pictures like this so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to fast forward this video to the to when i'm done cutting it and then show you the next step to take all right let's fast forward
okay so this is what we'll have i'm just going to turn these other ones off so this is what we'll have for his beard and other things now the common thing i actually do after here is to high pass to make it sharper so that's what i'm going to do but then this is a common mistake a lot of guys make now they come here to the vivid light and they go to filter and they go to order and they go to high pass what i'm basically doing when i'm high passing some people ask me why i don't high pass in some videos well if the picture is clear i don't high pass if the picture is really really clear now this is what some people do they make it extremely sharp they come all the way to this place or here make it extremely sharp i don't i don't subscribe to the fact that it should be extremely sharp i want it to be better than it was before but it depends on the picture i want to i want to cut out each picture the the shirt the cap this is what i usually do in all my steps but now this is what i'm going to chip in why are your pictures normal why are they normal why are, do they come out like regular pictures people ask me that a lot firstly when you're smudging okay i think what i should do is cut out those different picture um, components of the picture and come back in the gif so i'm going to cut out the shirt and the cap and yep the beard the eyebrow and then come back just four things yeah okay so i'm done with cutting out this picture from the background and from the different components now this is what you want to do now this is for the first eyebrow so i'm just going to duplicate this and name this eyebrow he has quite a lot of eyebrow for a man the beard then this is the cap and then all the way down here Okay, I think I just have for the eyebrow. Well, to get the shirt, it's just easy. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to delete the head layer from it and delete the cap layer from it. And we have the shirt. Very easy. Shirt. So that's what I'm going to do. Then the next thing I want to do is just click on this, the picture. Now, why does your picture come out normal? That's because another reason is because of the way you smudge. Now, this is a smudge brush I use. I, it's in virtually all my videos the video description you can check that out you can definitely check that out now i'm going to duplicate this with ctrl j and then clip it you can clip i said i said it's kind of less time but you can create a clipping mask to clip it now when you do this this is the for the strength of 30 you can just use the i've, I've learned how to smudge a great deal and that is why i'm i'm doing this and i've showed videos about how to smudge about how i smudge my processes about smudging i actually have a classic tutorial on how to smudge the right way to smudge but a lot of what people do is increase the brush size to be like this and then smudge the nose like this and this and everything becomes very blurry and that's not how it's supposed to be now on the smudge tutorial i specifically said you should make your brush small and when you're working on things like this you should probably just you know so that you keep these details intact you should definitely check out the video it's going to come out very handy if you really really want to you know explore in this part in this part of the of photoshop smudge painting so that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to really fast forward it because where we're heading it's not where we are so let's fast forward this part
okay so this is not a smudge tutorial video that's why i had to fast forward that i just want to show you where i'm getting it wrong now i'm going to go over to photoshop cs6 to oil paint the beard the eyes then that's why i took it off. if i if you if i turn off the beard layer right here you notice that this beard layer is actually on top of the face layer so that when i oil paint it i can continue from there and blend it out now why is your picture normal why is it still the same now one of the things you need to check out for is the fact that the colors you put are the wrong colors now on top of this normal layer on top of this normal this i'm going to name this smudged layer and then i'll click a new layer here and probably type what am i putting okay let's say with the eyes so i'm going to put eye layer and then i'm just going to put a color on the eyes here now i have a video on that's like two my last two videos or the type of color i put but then i think this this particular color i have colors i put mostly in all the pictures that just turn out nice somehow so by the way while i'm putting these colors i i do vlogs i you know i like being in front of a camera i like talking i like cracking jokes since i really cannot do that here because it's supposed to be a formal class where you're supposed to come and say what you want to say <laughs> and just you know not play so i have a vlog and i noticed that a lot of you don't watch my vlogs that is really really sad you know try just you know just take a, a stroll into one of my normal videos check out my normal vlogs my normal when i'm talking i think you i think you might just find it interesting anyway well so this is what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to reduce the opacity the opacity here now this is what some people do why it look why it's looking very very awkward is because the eye color you choose for example i'm just gonna name a new layer here and name this um, iris color color yeah so then i'm going to come up here and put a little bit of brown in this part of the eyes and this part of the eyes and then come to the attribute and put it as color now it does not look like i've done anything at all it feels like it's still very normal but then i'm going to show you why this so this height was before and this height is now just look at look at it properly before and now so these are the little things that actually comes out and gives you the sweet feel and you're like oh this picture is nice and this picture is not nice now i'll tell you what if you are working for a client the client doesn't know if the picture is nice or not there's something about a picture that makes it very nice something about a picture that makes it yeah i'm just there so you might want to really check out and may want to give the client something that is nice and then what constitute nice things are those little things that you walk and check and then oh this is nice because the eyes are, are shiny and stuff now for the lip you want to choose a color now for the lip you want to choose a color that you know it's nice so this one i'm going to i'm going to choose uh i'm going to select the lip here i've not so much dates i'm i'm going to have to put my final finishing touches um after the video is done so this tutorial does not take like forever now somebody asked somebody asked me something once and he said i'm strong i think okay, i'm going to make this lip color first he said i think you have some things you do when after the tutorial has ended so that you make the picture pop up and i'm like it's not really there's no much now you only just polish it an extra for example all these places are not smudged properly so then after the tutorial i'll pick up the smudge brush and then just make this place smoother that's just what i do mainly so then for the lip color i'm just going to pick a color here in the lip with the i'm just going to pick a color here not here now for example i'll pick a color here and then with the alternate and backspace i'll add the color and go to color and choose color now when i do this i'm going to pick a little bit of darker color here i'll pick the brush then i'm just going to paint over this top layer to make it unsaturated then for the lip here then i'll pick a more saturated color turn this down i don't know if i'm fast but if i'm fast you can just you know always rewind this video then i'm just going to pick something a little bit 
um, pinkish not too much but this is okay then i can make it 40 the opacity here 40 by clicking from my keyboard and just paint over this now it's going to have a red lip it doesn't look like the formal this is the formal lip now this is a new lip it doesn't look like the formal lip but then i'll show you why i did this now i'm going to come to this place i feel like this lip color is way too much so i'm going to pick the brush and just add little here no not the eye this here i'm going to add little here little here and this is okay this is this feels better now i'm just going to pick the normal layer now you can check out my previous video about how to add colors i'm just going to pick now this is the color of the face here i don't want to use this color on this face i want to take it down a little bit here that's how i did it that's how i do my videos that's how i get these colors i get now with the other than backspace i'm going to click a color here and like i told you i'm not i the beard layer and the eye layer are in separate layers so i'm just going to go to color and this is what we have i can turn out turn off the eyebrow and then the beard so you see this is what we have now now this is unarguably a cartoonish picture it's unarguably cartoonish picture now why is it unarguably cartoonish picture because you have this i mean the color is one thing that makes it pop up like this now i'm going to show you this i'm going to turn off this picture and yeah i'm just going to duplicate this and turn off this picture turn this back on and let's just select the head layer here and duplicate it i just want to show you something come over to this place and then when i turn this back on this is how the picture looks it just looks like something i've added colors on you see this is the picture it was before i added the mid tones and the shadows now if i turn this off that this is how it is now i've added the mid tones and the shadows and smushed it so before and now before and now let me just turn turn off the background so you get to see and pick which one you want so so this height is this is how it works without before adding shadows and highlights and this is how it is now so you need to add shadows and highlights the shadows make it pop up and then the highlights now you can go as well as smudging the cap or, or painting it and then for the shirt too one of the things you can do when you have a very very bright shirt like this is duplicate it with ctrl j go back to this place yeah sorry image go to adjustments go to shadows and highlights when you go to shadows and highlights with the highlights still you get a better shirt you see it's better than the shadows i'm just going to leave the shadows there now it doesn't look like i've done a lot but see before and now before and now it's just blending it will look very nice very 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 nice at least a lot better than how it was before so then what i want to easily do now is to click on the beard layer here come over to this place on top of this place now i'm not going to turn off this part and choose the color of the beard no what i'm going to do is on this place still i'll choose the color of the beard now this is a saturated part like i said in that my former video this is a saturated i'm just going to make this bigger so you get to see what i mean this part this part are saturated this part now when it gets too saturated you notice this caution too to show that it's saturated so it's too saturated then when you take to this part it leaves this is unsaturated it goes towards the gray part now i'll pick a color here and this is the saturated part i don't want it to be too saturated so i'll make it a little bit unsaturated somewhere around here and let me take this video a little bit and i'll just add with alternate and backspace i'll add a color and then make it color here this doesn't feel natural at all so one of the reasons one of the mistakes you're making is that you're adding wrong colors to your picture so this doesn't feel natural at all. so what i'm going to do is i click on it again and then probably select a color that is a little bit saturated so i'm just gonna alternate and click to select and then choose this oh this looks doesn't look bad but i'll just keep selecting until i get maybe this doesn't look too bad and this so alternate and backspace to get this before and now so with this this definitely looks like a better work now i'm going to click on the eyebrow and then choose a little bit of more saturated color now i'm going to name this beard layer and name this bro layer so i'm going to come down here and look at the bro where's the bro okay eyebrow so i'm just going to 
or that you can click it to select it and then i'll choose a color that's a little bit more saturated with alternate and backspace i'll click on this and go to color very simple chicken now like they'll say in nigeria well i'm going to click um with the eraser tool for example i want to blot this thing out now one of the easiest things you can do for the eyebrow for example one of the tricks you can do is to just feather it feather it out and to feather it is quite simple with the alternate with the control and click you click on it just in case you don't get this next step don't worry you can always use your eraser tool you can always feather that out we make it dirty feather it out to blend in now a lot of people ask me a lot of questions there are a lot of questions that are coming every day and i really want to answer all of them but it's not so easy and some people want physical trainings what do you think and then what do you, when do you think should be the best time to release photoshop videos when you think it would be the best time for you to watch photoshop videos i need comments i need to hear what you really think about those videos what you what you really feel i know talking like this sometimes i don't talk to a lot of people i talk to maybe one or two patients that really get to sit down and say oh i want to watch this video yeah if you are that one person tell me what you think drop a comment drop a comment now if you don't know how to comment on videos it's very easy send it to your gmail and then you'll be able to comment on videos just because of me i really need those comments i really need to hear what's going on in your head you know I, it's going to be nice and then i get a lot of hey i'm strong you're my mentor oh thank you so much but i need the brush oh sorry you can download the brush in my video description no 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 send it to my gmail oh god i'm like so how many gmails i do have to send it to you know it's it's quite unfair because i feel like a lot of people feel like you you owe them something they feel quite entitled and for me i don't think it's nice i really don't think it's nice i really think you should put out the work people keep asking me what i do what is the extra thing i do and i tell them i just put more hard work i really take out time to do these things and they tell me nope guy yeah, you are lying and stuff but i'm not lying i am just this is actually it this is it so this is it now it might not look like we have done a lot but we have done a lot now this is before and now one of the things you can do one of the extra tweaks you can add is come on top of this place pick the color or the background the shirt background now this applies to doing other things now pick the color then come here to the color and make it color to the attributes and make it color now turn this off and then when you come out here you see quite a lot of differences now why does your picture look normal because the colors you applied have the wrong colors because you didn't add shadows and highlights one of the things you can also do to make your pictures pop up now i can add our add oil paint to this after this now in case you don't have oil paint i think i would really want to i really come up with a solution but for now i have not so until then i'm just going to probably just keep doing this now this is what i want to do next i want to use the burn tool to now the burn tool is in 20 just watch what i'm doing one of the things you can do shadows and highlights reduces the shadows and the highlights of the main picture then you can induce your own shadows and highlights of your own picture now how do i do that now i'm going to come to the bone there's dodge to make it bright there's bone and then there's mid tone shadows and highlights now I'm going to release a classic video on how to burn, when to burn. I have a friend that that is just all he, all he talks about, dodge and burn. It's funny. I It took a while before I got to master this, but I don't even think I've mastered it. I think I'm just getting better at it. So what I'm going to do is with the burn, I'm going to burn the spot. I just don't want it to get too dark. But then the top of the lip here is a little bit dark normally. So I'm just going to make this like this and then here. In here now it's not going to look like i'm just going to name this i'll come over to this place and name this dodge and burn layer so i think this is okay so then with the dodge the dodge tool i'm just going to choose let's say a little bit of mid tone make it make the exposure 20 and let me just do over to this place the dodge now so what some people do is this they make it like 40 
and then they make this place flat now this is going to be very wrong you can't somebody has this kind of face this looks fake very very fake so what you want to do make it 20 and just add a little bit of it a little bit so i'm just going to add make it 20 I'm just add, add a little bit of this 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 then i'm going to dodge the beard i'm going to dodge the beard to make it look nice then with the highlights for example the highlights like a teacher told me once it is the icing you add on the cake so i'm just gonna pick this i'm just going to dodge this now when you add things like this 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 now on the lip here i've not smudged i've not smudged or painted the lip and i'm going to do that um any moment from now but for the highlights you can come to this place now this is one trick i do i'll make it say 25 here by, add, by pressing 2 and 5 and probably just add this then add something very sharp here maybe something around here then under the eyes something around here and here I think this is nice this is really nice so so then yeah this is it this is really it so now it doesn't look like I've done a lot but this picture cannot be categorized as a normal picture why this is how it was if I started adding dodge and bone and this is how it is now before and now before and now so then after that i'm just going to clinch it by going over to photoshop cs6 for oil paint i use photoshop cs6 still because we have a lot of people that have this oil paint issue so i'm just going to show you how i tidy it up okay so very easy i'm just going to click on the cap here i'll go to filter i'll go to oil paint now i'm just going to probably just oil paint the cap or paint the shirt the beard so i'm just going to reduce the shine i don't know why i don't like the shine do you like the shine i don't know like bonaboy said bonaboy is an artist from nigeria there's one line he said that was so nice i took my place as the shine shine bubble of the nigerian beauties <laughs> i play too much i play just way too much so i'm just going to go to oil paint here and yes just do the shirt I, I normally don't really paint the shirt but i'm just trying to show something and just head over to the next place nothing too serious nothing too then for the beard i'm just gonna click on the beard here this beard layer i'm just gonna duplicate this here just the beard go back to this place go to oil paint and choose the beard the way i want it oh, this doesn't look bad at all i don't know i'm just gonna press ok now this is gonna come out like this after oil painting it wow this is how it came out so nice then for the eyebrow too i, I really don't like working so much on the eyebrow i mean like making it look too smudged it, it comes out very fake so i'm just gonna click on oil paint and for the oil paint hmm, this looks nice oh i just reduced the stylization and this looks beautiful i don't know does any guys have does any guy have this kind of i don't know beard or eyebrow so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to match these two together beard and the eye then i'm going to come all over here and keep it right on top of this layer that way it's going to look extremely nice so i'm just going to match this here and this is what we'll have this in no way looks like a normal picture then for the cap i can just probably add a color to the cap i'm gonna match this here and just pick a color here i don't know color like this alternate and backspace to click on this and then go to color and this will have this does not look like a regular picture it looks a little bit artistic even if you can just keep working on this adding mod and then probably adding more working on the lip making it more saturated now when i end this video this is what i want to do i'm going to blot out all these places i'm going to smudge this part 
I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Make it just make it look like a neater image, just in case you see it on my Instagram. Well, if you have not followed me on Instagram, please make sure you follow me on Instagram at Armstrongsas. And if you want to really know how I am, you want to know if I really am a nice cheesy guy, check out my vlogs and definitely check me out at I am Armstrong Osas. I post funny, crazy pictures with the funniest captions you can ever imagine there. Well, this is me signing out. I'm just Armstrong. I usually make mistakes because it's very fast to say this is Armstrong Osas signing out, but you want to sound very professional. So I'm just going to say it again. This is Am this Armstrong. This is <laughs> this is Armstrong Osas sign. Oh God. What am I saying? This is Amshon Gosal signing out. Don't forget to stay creative and don't forget to have an amazing time with this. You can watch this out when you're watching a movie, like when you're sipping a drink. And, and, for leave a comment. I'm done with seeing all those things. I'm supposed to end this video, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to see you in the next video about the common mistakes we make as much painters. Bye-bye.